Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Dr. Connie Chung. I have a extensive educational background. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in psychology, master's in nutrition, a doctorate in physical therapy, been a clinician for over 25 years, as well as a board certified in Institute of Functional Medicine in functional medicine. And I'm a ERYT certified at the 500 hour with Yoga Alliance. All that being said, I utilize yoga as a specific tool to help you to regulate your nervous system, to really empower you, to really reach in to your own essence and your healing power from within to heal from any kind of symptoms, whether it be physical, mental, and emotional, as well as chronic illnesses, I believe all the answers are within you, that we have a biochemical capacity and the ability to heal our own bodies if we can align from within, inside out. That's what we do here. Welcome, and I can't wait to get to know you better. Welcome guys, this is our YouTube channel. This is Dr. Connie, and I've been thinking a lot about yoga. And what I want you to keep in mind is the importance of proper activation and moving through poses slowly. And so that's what this class is all about. It's slow flow, activating the proper muscles. Think of it as you are learning to activate the proper muscles that stabilize your whole spine and respective joints. It's not more about like building more muscle mass. That comes, but in yoga, you're able to really tolerate the strength that comes from you working with your own body weight. And I believe as a doctor of physical therapy or a doctor of physical therapist that from all the injuries that I've witnessed in CrossFitters and different bodybuilders that are all about lifting heavy weights, that yoga can really provide you with a safe practice that tones you while providing you with the proper mobility, proper posture and alignment. So let's get started. Come to the top of your mat and we're just gonna go flow through a couple of really easy exercises or yoga flow that I teach in my Hot 75 at Functional Yoga Medicine in Swanee, Georgia. And I hope you enjoy. So here we go. Top of your mat, take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Just settle your mind and your body. We practice what's called Ujjayi breath. So allow your mind to fully arrive in your body and be aware of your body in space. We're gonna go ahead and take an in breath, take your arms up overhead, gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, palms to the mat. Ground through with the palms flat on the floor or on a block. Inhale, lift up and out of your chest. Right foot extends back, then left. Then shift forward high on your toes onto all five fingers and lower down slow and steady. And if you can't do this, please feel free to lower the knees. Inhale it up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. It's important not to switch your feet position from plank to downward dog and practice rolling on your toes. Deep in breath, deep out breath. Settling in, pushing the floor away, driving the navel to the spine, tailbone up high towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward. Step the right foot forward all the way and left. This is all mobility, functional mobility. Inhale, lift. Exhale, it fold and come all the way up. Extend the spine, palms to heart center, settling in, mountain pose, reset. Again, inhale up, exhale it, fold, feeling every joint in the body, learning to move and flow. Inhale, lift, this time left foot back, then right, shift it forward, high on your toes, lower down slow, instead of keeping the ribs or elbows grazing the sides of your ribs, inhale it up. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. I want you to pay attention to my toes. I roll on them. And this really feels like a long downward dog, but I stay engaging my shoulder girdle as well as driving my heels down while taking the tailbone straight up towards the ceiling. 
Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Gaze forward on the in-breath. You step the left foot forward, then right. This allows you to learn the range of motion in your body. Exhale down. And with consistent practice, you learn to create more mobility in your body. Inhale up again. Exhale, it fold. Inhale, lift up and out of your chest. Exhale, this time I'm gonna jump back, shift forward, lower down slow and steady, keeping the elbows close to my ribs. Push down to lift up high as I inhale. Exhale, push back, downward dog. Deep in breath and deep out breath. Deep in breath, really getting into my hands, my forearms, my biceps into the shoulder girdle all the way up my spine to my tailbone on the back side, and then checking my front side, driving the biceps forward, triceps back, driving my heels down, stretching the posterior chain of my body. Exhale, fold or bend your knees. Inhale it, right foot all the way forward, then left. Inhale, lift. Exhale it, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center, arms down by your side. Suri B, raise your arms up overhead, really squeezing your head with the biceps. If you can't do this, keep your hands separated, but still along your ears. It's going to hyper arch your back, those of you who are tight in the shoulder, so it's okay, but pull the navel to the spine. Draw the rib cage down as you lower the hips, extend long, tuck your tailbone, Exhale, it fold. Inhale, lift. And since we're warmed up, we're gonna jump it or shift forward, lower down or step it back. Inhale, lift. Tuck your toes, lift your hips. Downward dog, settle in here. And now inhale, right leg up. Practicing your lung capacity or increasing your lung capacity. Inhale, right knee all the way up, right foot between your hands, exactly. Turn your back heel in, still inhaling that same inhalation that began the practice. Go to my peak, and then the exhalation starts here. Exhale, 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 lowering all the way down. Inhale, exhale back. Settle in, fully exhale to get that long inhale as you raise the left leg up. Draw the left knee up to your chest, shift the weight onto your hands, place the left foot down, turn your back heel in, come up nice and slow, all the way up. Really bend into the left knee, squaring your hips. Exhale, fold, left foot back. It's harder to do it this way. When you move too fast, you're not activating the proper muscles. And take it back. Nice and long. You can choose to bend opposite knee side to side. Draw the navel to the spine. Take the tailbone up high towards the ceiling. Push the floor away actively. Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Inhale, right foot forward, then left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, it fold. Inhale it up, palms together at your heart, mountain. Here we go again. Inhale up, sink your hips long, gazing up. Exhale it, fold. Inhale, lift, bend your knees. Exhale all the way down. Inhale it up, tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Right leg up high, right knee up to your chest, shift the weight all the way onto your hands. Turn your back heel in, root to rise. Gaze up, exhale, hands on either side of the right foot, moving slow guys. You're teaching your body how to move through, gaining the proper muscle awareness. Too many of you flow too, too fast, you never learn or your body never learns. You just think flowing through, executing those poses are all that is, but it's not true. Left leg up. Don't lose the opportunity to really gain the proper posture, alignment, 
strength, mobility, muscle tone, weight loss, all of it. Exhale all the way down. Left foot back. Shift forward, lower down. Ooh. Inhale, lift. Exhale back. The whole purpose of yoga is to stay calm through the harder poses and choose to connect to the breath and continue making micro adjustments and really focus on in between the poses, the transitions matter. Exhale, bend your knees a lot, gaze forward, right foot forward, then left. Inhale, lift. Exhale, it fold. Root to rise, all the way up. Gaze up, hands to heart center. I'm gonna face you now, inhale, lift your arms up. Grab the left wrist with your right hand. Make a fist with the left. Inhale up, push the hips to the right, left, upper body to the right. Gaze up, keep both elbows straight. Inhale, lift back. Switch hands, inhale, lift, exhale over. Gaze up. Think of your spine or your body between two panes of glass. Inhale up and down. We're gonna do a little back bend. Bend your knees. Drive the knees forward, then the hips, then the upper body, and gently place the heel of your, heels of your hand on the back pelvis, and drive back, gazing back. Then bend your knees, come back gentle. You're in control. Inhale it up. Sink your hips a lot, palm to palm. Lengthen as you lower. Drive the heels of your hands all the way forward. Then place the right hand behind the right heel, left hand behind the left. Drive your forehead between your shin, then the work begins. Wrap the biceps or forearms behind the calf. Squeeze your belly, drive the knees back. You're gonna feel an intense stretch along the back side of your body. The more you can squeeze your belly, the more the low back will lengthen. The more you squeeze the front thigh, more the hamstrings will lengthen. Then once you're at your max, it doesn't matter if your knees are bent, still a pose. And then you wanna tip the weight towards the toes and that's gonna wake up the hamstrings or the back line a little more. Breathe into it, calm breaths. And then release your hands, sink your hips. Reach long, just the way you went in and come up. Don't cheat your way. You wanna go really fast. I see my students always wanting to go fast during hard poses and transitions. Never do that, okay? And then now, step the right foot out to the right. Exact two fist width between the toes and the heels. Your spine is nice and tall. Bring your hands or arms forward, chin up. Then you're gonna pretend like there is an invisible chair behind you and sink your hips nice and slow. Feel the muscles, but tuck your tailbone as you do this and then engage your legs. And then from here, you go down as far as you can and then come back up to where your thighs are parallel. That's the goal, tuck your tailbone, engage your core and your thighs come up. Come high up on your toes. This time, pretend there's a wall behind you. Keeping the heels up high. Keep the heels up. Keep your spine straight. Chin up, heels up, heels up. Your legs are gonna shake. You're balancing on your toes. Super beneficial for your balance and proprioception. Toes down and come up. And yes, many of you are gonna struggle here, but that's the point. How calm are you? Are you breathing? Heels down, high up on your toes again, knees together, drive it down, slow and steady. There's a wall behind you, keep your back straight. Super hard, squeeze those knees to come back up on your toes. Keep the heels lifted all the way up, then knees apart, heels down, arms down, right foot next to the left. Breathe. Inhale your arms up, hands together at your heart, 
press the palms together, make a straight line between the elbows. Then sink your hips down, tuck your tailbone. Then bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Push down on that left elbow into the knee, squaring your hips. Do not let one knee go forward, then the other. And then lift up, gaze up. Breathe, you're fighting hard to keep the knees together. Not one goes forward. I guarantee you many of you have gone forward one side. Bring it back and back. Breathe, right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Push down, lift up, gaze up. Breathe and breathe. And breathe and bring it back. Feel your legs come up slow. Don't just come out of it. The whole purpose is to stay calm through all the hard poses. Next is hands on your hips, high up on your toes. Sink your left heel, bend your right knee. Keep a slight bend in the left knee. Draw the right knee up, toes are up. Then you wanna release your hands, interlace your hands under the right foot, no weight on the foot on the hands. Then you wanna kick and extend the knee, then wrap the biceps under the calf or the elbows under the calf. You're shaking like crazy. Then you wanna look down at your ankle. Hey, and then you might fall. Come right back into it. Staying committed and stay. And the gaze can go down towards the ankle and then finally the knee tucking and looking down towards the knee. Bend, extend that spine, draw the right knee down. Whew, it's harder than it seems, right? Hands on your hips, high up on your toes, sink your right heel, lift the left knee. Stay with it, release the hands. Slight bend in the right knee, really work that standing leg. Kick the left heel forward or not. Wrap the biceps or the forearms under the calf, gaze towards the ankle, and then maybe the knee. Move slow. And lift your gaze, bend that knee, lift up, and lower down. And breathe. Inhale your arms up, heels up, Sink your left heel, bend your right knee. As you do so, bring the right arm down, bending exactly at 90. Bend the right knee back. Hook the right foot with your right hand. And then I want you to focus on lifting up. And then you kick, kick, kick. Do not go down. And then if you don't have any more kick, only then you stay long and go forward. And breathe, breathe, and breathe. Come back nice and slow, stay with it. Lower down, lower the left hand, take a breath. Inhale your arms up, high up on your toes, sink your right heel, lower the left arm. Bending exactly at 90, bend the left knee back, hook, kick, 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 and drive forward with control. Drive forward, up, lengthen as you go forward. Good and come back, lower that foot, lower the arm, and breathe. We're gonna to come to the back of the mat, hands on your hips, drive the elbows back, squeezing that area between the shoulder blades, high up on the toes, sink your left heel, bend your right knee, slight bend in the right knee, bend the right knee up, kick it, bend your left knee, then heel, then toe, come up high, drive the elbows back, lift the left leg. Only focus is to lift, take the elbows back. Gaze forward, breathe, lift. Slight bend in the right knee. And making a T with your body, bend into the right knee as you find the left foot, bend into the left knee as you release and lift the right leg, bend and lower. Calm your mind, high up on your toes, sink your right heel, slight bend in the right knee, lift the left knee up, kick it out, bend your right knee, slow motion, right, left heel, high up on your right toes, lift, 
Tie forward, squeezing that area between the shoulder blades. Gaze forward. Lift, lift, squeeze. Bend your left knee. Right toes touch, bend into the right knee. Lift the left leg up. Hold it and lower. Good job. Inhale your arms up. Lower all the way to the floor. Extend the legs and go forward. Feet shoulder width. Bring the head between the shin and continue to drive the heels forward. Pull the navel to the spine and breathe. Deep in breath. And exhale. Relax your face. Relax your shoulders. And come up all the way. Sitting in Sukhasana. Right arm up and over. Opening the chest up, keeping the left elbow straight. Gaze up and back. Right hand down, left arm up. Gaze up and lower. Interlace your hands behind you, chin up. And look down as you draw the hands towards you. Palm side up in Gyan Mudra to focus and center and breathe. Assess your body, assess your mind. You've done it, congratulations. You stayed with it, you activated, and it was a successful yoga practice. Until next time, this is Dr. Connie. Tune in, subscribe, this is my channel. I'll give you a lot more uh, where this comes from and provide you with the proper activation techniques so that you can be strong, healthy, and as mobile as possible. It's all about optimizing your enteric nervous system, autonomic or regulating your autonomic nervous system and then enhancing your somatic nervous system, which is your musculoskeletal system, to finally have empowered psychology so you can do anything you set your mind to. Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Your time is valuable to me and I appreciate you being here. If you found my videos helpful, I put out weekly videos for you so that you can benefit from it. So I would love it if you subscribed as well as comment, review me, follow me on social at Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok at Dr. Connie Chung. I'd love to hear from you. DM me, comment below, and let's connect. I'll see you guys all later.